Do we have some in now in question? Dathly. Well, it's in sort of the Dathliniad Cymharach and Difficult Air. Well, do we weld Pwysles are Dathly, well, for or no? And in Hunter and Hobart. Yeah, it's good job. Yeah, good job. Do you mean any Dathly Moy? Look at any name we all and Dathly. And any other thing, my, you hang out our brightest colours. Um, a lack of things to actually celebrate is, admittedly, a prime cause of our nation's sad state of affairs. We haven't won too many battles, haven't won a World Cup, and we don't even compete in the smile and sequence chauvinism, which is the Eurovision Song Contest. We seem to be in perpetual depression about the state of our language or economy. And when we do celebrate, the probability is that one half of the nation doesn't agree with the celebration. It being either too Welsh, too English, too militaristic, or too religious for one or other of our various tribes. And what's worse, not only are we not very good at celebrating, but we're not too good at being morose and miserable either. <laughs> miserable black Americans created the blues, miserable poor white Portuguese the fado, and the Welsh Cerdant. <laughs> Our inability to celebrate our nationality contrasts strongly with the Irish. And am I the only one who admits to periods of feeling a little short-changed when I compare our limp St David's Day celebrations with the full-blown Irish commitment to St Patrick's Day? Yeah. Everyone, it seems, celebrates St Patrick's Day. Even Welsh people go out for a drink on St Pat's, but not on St Dye's. <laughs> but then, isn't that St Patrick's Day's weakness as well? If celebrating St Pat's is more acceptable to some Welsh people than celebrating St. Dai, is that such a sad in indictment on our own country? Or is it a thing of power in that Welshness is still, a identity, is still an identity in a state of contention, an identity which asks questions of us? With due respect to my Irish Republican friends, isn't celebrating St. Patrick's Day today more British than celebrating St. David's Day? And therefore, isn't it more generally acceptable to celebrate Irishness than to celebrate Welshness? Isn't it, in fact, that Welsh identity is less culturally acceptable and more risque than Irish identity? And what's so special about getting drunk on your patron saint's day in any case? In today's 24-hour drink culture, how is, it that, how is that so different from any other weekend? Actually, the more I think about it, the more I enjoy the succulent, ascetic quality of St David's Day. We celebrate our patron saint with poetry and lectures in drafty village halls. Children take part in school Vode, where literature, art and music is, is elevated. Despite the patron saint, patriot's weariness of the bombast of the St David's Day Welshmen, there is still strength in the smell of Wilton leeks and crusty Welsh cakes. And yet there is also a feeling of underachievement and of frustrated passion. I don't wish for the tardiness which is St. Patrick's Day, but I do yearn for some colour and pageant, and do you know what? I don't think I'm the only one. Dios <laughs> And with the maturity of every major of team, Dad Lach has the Welsh kilt. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it's Welsh kilt. A poor fashion when he can't have a show. Yeah. And then we're in a side camera, a grisco, stuff of Paris. Yeah. Well, I'm doing well and right on down in that. I can try to do it. Copy of Winner Light. So I'm a dios of doing when modern is turned on his canal. My little edge is window. Yeah, yeah. Um, the sure that they with high popular that friend Ray of Sidiada and the Cray Travel Yarder. Um, a day a two medal and the Fenya team and a dim bark over to Tundra and Toys. Ti wir yn licio'r asetig pijon. <laughs> Ond eto t-shirt, pobl cael hyder a... a Gwysio'r gael... pomp a serfynu. Dathlu o rhyw ffordd. Ie, dwi'n edmygwr mawr o'r wadwriaeth Brydeinig pan rhoi sioe ymlaen. 
Yeah, fantastic. I got funny, but it's called Dig Vida Hunter. Yeah. Achos, um, I was doing this for the and the with pomp for ceremony. Right, yeah. My right, her direct troops here. Yeah, yeah. My dangos, my Rubeth, my Ruin Gathi. My Pobble in Nichol Gishol and Valini Gollion. I'm going to have a Nichol Gishol and Gimenedog. Yeah. I don't know if it's my Redeemed in Gunning. Well, if I had a Darwin, he brought that around him. Why not have a Welsh royal family? Mm. <laughs> Why not? But he don't let him have it, don't. Tabo to the both, no? Um, I know, the Tennessee Kip, um, DJ Davis, or then Social is my yeah, and the ILP wedding play Cymru, yeah, I can make it uh, my worthy and that thing stuff. I was going to that thing in the van there, yeah, you know, Pimp Tree, my rival did just a roll of coronation, yeah, and got Govin, um, Tilly Brin Hinnell, and email, yeah, I was saying we're in a dim between Govin and D, my Pobble was still in Hoffier ceremony at China, yeah. I'm a highly gimmick to the kidney. Just tell what they would think of. Must have it not dream of it because of the beer that I am and Lucia Moina, honey. I was doing curry but coming in Haiti, Hunna. Yeah. I'm again even again to any goal and see them in Gumro, see some person. Yeah. I'm again even to come on. Well, the communed. Yeah. Grisha Bob was von Valka, honey. Yeah. My Paul was studying that and Heat magazine, a Hello magazine, a Math and a bit. I was not going to even a key just in Gumri, but read a key just in today, Nigna Sixty. Yeah. But he was a bit off in here, but he then was still in board and understated. Then was still in board and Barkis again, that way, but he only saw you on you with him. Can you submit that to a Cavalier there from Ladol? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not your quarry he net, I'm quite he and stuff from Ladol. You were study coming to the Dibbon Gladiator Tramor. I'm well lot of. Anyway, does he mean do you ladder in Perth? I my pedigree need now, and the info of pedigree that the Hannes had discovered him in Kalil. I like to run him deep with. Oh, man, can you do after the Rich? Asking that he dared be in Bullet and Western Good. On the screen, see Arthigal, I'm only a thing of a shoe and racing die guard is security gillies. But the Arthigal, I'm the Teddy Kinner and Gamrai got a radio, Aram Gurkjos and your fate just now. I would have seen Kamari Hunna, get that bed and dig with and do your neighbor, especially when I do his handy Hun and forth. Um, actually. Um, Cover the dust that the Kintanigam rag, Shara Rashi, or Dillin, and you were done a nid or Gumri near Sliger. As Hunan Hess in the door of the Quidelod, the said of the Gumrag Kinta, on a banner spoken Welsh. But it created the Hunan Sidin. There was nothing clever about the programmes. They consisted mostly of sung song by the Welsh residents of Dublin and by the crews on the Hollyhead ferry boats. The programmes were arranged by W. S. Gwyn Williams, who founded the International Stelvod at Llangollen after the Second World War. Their amateurism, if anything, underlined the fact that broadcasting wasn't some hidden science, as Reith and his colonialists seemed to imply, but was really quite a straightforward affair. And back then, E. J. Bowen, or the Institute of Physics in Abertawe, the one that was born, or the Institute of Physics in BBC, and down goes by the Bossib, called Transmitters in Hymri. Reith the Galvin, bumptious young man, since the person of the Reith. Um, the geography of Wales was regularly used as an excuse against providing a Welsh service, but it became an excuse too far. When a new transmitter for Scotland was opened in 1932 in Falkirk, the BBC made their excuses that the mountainous nature of Wales made it impossible for a comparable arrangement to be made in Wales. Everybody knows, J. E. Jones applied Genlithal Cymru, commented sarcastically that Scotland is flat. 